Hello, good morning, sorry, good evening, my warriors. Good evening, good evening. This is Shreyas here, your master teacher for physics at Vedanta going live. Hello, Samuel. Hello, Kuzuma. Hello, Velamuri. Hello, Sri Ram. Hello, Mohammed. Hello, Phoenix. Hi, Abhishek. Hi, uh, Nancy. Welcome aboard. Good evening, guys. This is Shreyas here, your master teacher for physics at Vedanta going live. And welcome to this special session because today is the last session of units and dimensions and we are going to complete this chapter and guess what is coming next after this we are going to put you to a test and that is menti quiz this week there is going to be a menti quiz not just on units and dimensions but also on the bridge course related topics that you have studied what do you think guys? Are you guys prepared? Do you think you will be prepared in the next few days before the Menti quiz? Hi Lokeshwar, hi Sharwin, hi Haunter, hello Shama PC, hello Nami, welcome aboard, hello, good evening my warriors, hello Shreyas Kapri. So guys, do you think you will be prepared? Yep, 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 let's do that, yep, very good. Hi Mohammed, you are new, welcome all the new warriors and if you are new, you know what to do? Hit the subscribe button, why? So that you do not miss any of the sessions out here. This is a special channel, English channel, English medium channel for all the GE aspirants. Be it 11th, be it 12th, be it a dropper, doesn't matter. Be her because this is, I think, one of the only English medium channels for GE in our country. And we are here with you. And um, if you want to know more about me, you can definitely follow me on my Instagram handle. That's stress underscore Vedantu. You can also ping me over there and ask me some things. And before we start, do not forget to hit the like button out there. Yes. Good evening, Prakash. Hi, Sakshi. I'm very good. Hi, Bhargav. Yep. So we are definitely going to ace it. Let's see who is going to be the Menti Quiz winner this time. So if you have missed any of the classes, do not forget to check it out in our playlist and revise the theory properly before you attend the Menti Quiz this week. Even today's topic is going to come. So let's begin today's class. But before that, let me just show you the schedule out here. And remember, the entire PDF schedules, updates, etc. are available in the Telegram group. Where do you find a Telegram group? It's there in the description box below. There's a link for that. Just join using that link in the description box. Now, today we are doing, uh, you know, vernier calipers, micrometer screw gauge. A lot of people skip this, but we are not going to do that. We are going to do this. Every year, I see there is at least one question on this. And it's a big deal because there are hardly 20, 30 questions in J mains or advanced and you get one question from this topic, that means it's very important. Then this is for the 12th standard power, uh, uh, then series and parallel resistances. This is again for 2021 students, zero to hero in capacitors. Menti quiz, keep this in mind, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. This is for 12th standard, Kirchhoff's current law, voltage draw and Wheatstone's bridge. And a special session, we have a special guest for all of you, 11th, 12th, dropper students, all of you, a very special guest is coming this Saturday. And this is going to be very, very important for all of you. Very relatable. Somebody just probably like you. And you're going to love it. Mohammed 12th has already started. Like you can see, some of these are 12th standard courses. So 12th has already started. We are right now in current electricity. Yep. Let's see who it is. Uh, Samuel is saying ABD is going to come. Okay. Somebody is saying MS Dhoni is going to come. I don't know. I don't know. Who is it? Who is he? Who is she? I don't know. Somebody is going to come there. Hi Rashmi, I have taken your name. Welcome aboard. Okay, so is this the last session? Yes, Batman. Like I just said, it is the last session of the units and dimensions. I don't know, Shreyas Kapri, maybe. Hi Shivani. Hi Kausalya. Hi Komal. Welcome aboard. Uh, Mohammed, I don't know whether I'm the best physics teacher, but I'm a good physics teacher and definitely I'm going to work for you. So if you love me, if you love my sessions, definitely follow me and learn from all the live sessions that I teach. Okay, so let's begin. Now when I talk about, you know, measuring length, uh, so we need to, uh, oh my God, Sakshi, when I'm laughing, my face is very nice. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Uh, you guys are very, very, um, what do you say, badmash people, very, very smart people. Yep. Yeah. okay, so now, Whenever we talk about measuring the length, height, breadth, etc., we need to talk about an instrument. And today we are going to talk about three specific instruments. One is a meter scale, second is a micrometer screw gauge, third one is a vernier caliper. 
these three instruments are used for measuring length very commonly now obviously you won't use bananas to measure length like i won't say my height is three bananas or i won't say my height is i don't know one two three four five bananas and what if my height is somewhere between the fourth and the fifth banana you aren't going to eat the fifth banana half right i mean that would be ridiculous obviously okay so basically yes we need an instrument which can be more precise and the first instrument is your commonly used meter scale i'm pretty sure most of you have it most of you have it in your drawer in your uh, school or you would have definitely used this this is a standard meter scale now we all know that there are divisions in it and we all have been commonly using it to measure most of the things around us but it is not so accurate but it is doable for most of the things around us so let's say i want to measure the length of this remote i think i'm going to use a meter scale uh, let's say i want to measure the length of the scissor yes probably i'm going to use this meter scale to measure the length but let's say i want to measure the thickness of my nail let's say i want to measure the thickness of a paper let's say i want to measure the thickness of the step i don't think i should use a meter scale because i don't think it's so accurate we are going to come to the other devices but before that there is a very important thing called as least count of any device not just meter scale but any device everything around us everything around us is basically you know going to have least count have you stood on a weighing machine in fact last lecture only i have mentioned this example there is a least count maybe one gram your watch also has a least count one second that is the smallest measurement that it can you know uh, take that's the minimum error which will be also introduced in the reading understand that so it's the smallest error which will be introduced is the smallest measurement which can be made using any instrument a meter scale has a least count of one millimeter keep this in mind you can take your scale and you can check it out for yourself the smallest reading that you can take using a normal meter scale is one millimeter it's not possible below this yes you cannot measure anything below this and you would be termed as stupid if you say that oh sir come on what are you saying this is two this is three millimeters sir there is something in between of that sir my guess my vision is very good i know it's exactly between two and three so sir the reading is 2.5 you will get one tight slap understand this instrument is only capable of measuring till an accuracy of one millimeter that's the least count it's illegal to write anything lesser than that one millimeter or more accurate than that one millimeter it's illegal understand that so that's the least count of it okay so i hope this is clear i hope this is clear very good so oh my god who is this janu who is this uh, crazy guy a last warning to you after this you are going to get blocked okay permanently not even timed out you're going to get blocked last warning to you out here okay so slavanan maybe you can ask me on instagram where i worked and all those time passes okay so for now let's concentrate on the session let's not deviate from the session we are going to have casual talk sessions etc but let's focus on the session when we are discussing it okay yes yes so make sure guys if okay i'm just going to block it okay i'm just going to block this is hide user on the channel yep yes kusuma i'm going to give assignments and practice questions for all of you okay very good yep so i have just yeah sai telugu lovebirds in my class what to do yep i just blocked it so guys we are going to keep this channel clean and remember this is not like other channels where you know random things happen in the chat box or random things happen this is see we have fun obviously we have fun apart from having fun we also when we are doing we are, when we are studying when we are discussing something i don't want to break that flow right i'm pretty sure you also do not want to break that flow so let's focus when we are having fun trust me we are going to have fun like crazy okay now having said this let's take up a question for solving this okay look at this find the reading shown by the meter scale come on all my warriors i am waiting for all of you i am waiting for all of you to give me the answer in the chat box look at the divisions remember this is 1 cm 
Okay, this is not one millimeter. Be careful. This is your normal scale. There is some object placed over here. Count the divisions. What do you think is the length of the object using this meter scale? Come on, let's see how many of you can give me the correct answer. I think most of you have given me the wrong answer. Okay. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No problem. Sakshi, I'm not angry at you. I was angry at uh, somebody else. I mean, Janu. Yep. Okay. So come on, come on, come on. Think, think, think carefully. Okay. Now, count it, guys, properly. If you count it properly. Okay. See, the thing is, the thing is, this is the 21st this is the 21st marking and this one is the 22nd marking okay now your object is between 21 and 22 so whenever it is between some two things you should always take the reading which is before that whenever there are two markings and your object lies in between those two markings always take the reading which is before that that's the rule so now this is the 21st marking and remember every division every division is one millimeter so this is the 21st division hence the length hence the length of that object is going to be 21 millimeters yes 21 millimeters but this is not the complete answer a lot of you make that mistake guys this is not the complete answer there is something more to it what do you think is the least count exactly this one this is the least count of the device and the least count is always the error introduced in that reading so there is an error introduced so hence the complete answer will be length is 21 millimeters plus or minus 1 millimeter because that is something which i'm uncertain about this is the uncertainty in the measurement keep this in mind yes this is the uncertainty in the measurement i'm not sure this is the absolute error because of the least count of the device because of the limitation of the device which has been introduced understood yep this is the final answer yes which is 2.1 centimeter yes Velumuri. this is exactly 2.1 centimeter plus or minus you know you can write it as one millimeter or 0.1 centimeter both are fine so anything works plus or minus one millimeter this is the answer either of them depends how the options are you should look at the options and then mark it okay so i hope you have understood a little bit better because these kind of questions do come in j means as well as advanced yes that's the answer 21 uh, millimeters yep correct now before we go ahead let me also proudly announce and tell you about all our toppers because this is something everybody should be proud of because you guys are vedans for life because you are attending our channel out here which is VNTOS, which is an exclusive English medium channel. Now, just look at the results. I just want you to have a brief look at this. I mean, there were in the J main second attempt, which happened in February, above 90 percentile, there were 686 students just from Vedantu alone. Yep. And if you notice, almost one in two students who studied in Vedantu has already qualified for J advance. Yep, that's a big deal. And there are 11 students in physics alone who have scored 100 percentile in physics, in physics. And that's really, really amazing, guys. I mean, just think about it. It's really, really cool. And I'm pretty sure you have attended Shimon sir's class and probably you have also seen the other details which have been uploaded on our Telegram group. That is VIP. And what is VIP? VIP is a promise which Vedantu gives you, which tells you, no other institute will do that, be it online, be it offline, that you are going to improve. You are here, you will be here. If you do this, you will be here. If you do not do that, you might be here. Only institute to promise and tell you, guaranteeing your improvement, guaranteeing your growth, guaranteeing your projection of ranks in the future. No other institute does that and if you do not improve if you do not perform then complete refund this is our policy and that is vip vedantu improvement promise and that's what we make for all of you so guys check out all our pro subscription plans light classic and plus all of the details are there in the description box below join the subscription using the link 
If you have more concerns, definitely ping me on my Instagram handle or leave a comment. I'll definitely help you out. And you can avail a lot of discount using the coupon code SHHPRO. That's the discount coupon that you must use. Yep. So come on, check it out. All right. Now let's talk about the next instrument out here. Let's talk about the next instrument out here and that is micrometer screw gauge. Yep. Now, here is the thing. Thank you, Sakshi. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain step by step. Yep. Now observe this carefully. This is a much more accurate device to measure the length, height, etc. Now this is consisting of many parts. Like you can see, this is the main frame. This is where you generally place the object. This is your spindle. There is a scale which is called as a sleeve over here. You can see some markings and there is something which can rotate over it. That's called as the thimble and there is a ratchet to, you know, to lock it and all. Okay. And when you rotate this thimble, you can see it can slide left and right depending on how you rotate it. So if you rotate it clockwise, it goes there. If you rotate it anti-clockwise, it comes back here. And as you rotate this, understand this spindle also goes back and forth. So you place the object over here, which has to be measured. You rotate it. Looking at these numbers, you can figure out what's the length of this object. Okay, so this is the job of the device to measure the length, breadth, etc. of some device or some object out there. Okay, now there are two main parts. Forget the other parts. These are not so important. Two main parts are the main scale. This one, the one on the sleeve, this is called as the main scale. The one which is horizontal, can you see that? This is like your meter scale, like your normal scale that you have. Something very similar to that, that is called as the main scale on the axis of the screw. The second one, the second one, this one over here is called as the circular scale. So what is this device? This is called as a micrometer screw gauge used to measure the diameter, inner diameter or some length of the object. So there is a, you know, there is a frame. You place the object in between. Don't worry about the other names. That's not so important. The main things are there is a spindle, there is a sleeve and there is a thimble. The sleeve has the main scale. The thimble has the circular scale out here. As you rotate the thimble, okay, this spindle goes back and forth and you make that spindle touch that object so that you can mark the correct answer. You can measure the reading of the diameter or the length of that object. Now, how is it going to work? What's the working principle? How do you take the readings from this? That's what we are going to talk about. Everybody clear till this point? Uh, you don't have to know the exact labeling of all the parts, the basic parts at least you should know. Whatever I have drawn here, that much you should know, not more than that. That is more than enough for boards. From J point of view, I would need only the sleeve, the thimble and the spindle. All right, some two, three things, not more than that. Don't worry about it from J point of view, okay? Now, how does it exactly work? Okay, okay. So, yep, yep. So, Muhammad, I'm not a dude, okay? I'm not your bro, I'm your sir. So, please understand, maintain some discipline. If you call somebody over here a dude or a bro, sorry, you will get blocked. Okay, now, Kusuma, you can just watch it, watch it again, just replay it behind, nothing special. I have not yet told you the working, hold on, I'm just explaining you the working right now. Yes, I'm just going to explain you the working of this. Now, what is this device or how is this device going to exactly work? See guys, whenever you rotate this, this thimble, this circular scale moves a certain distance depending on how much you rotate. If you rotate once, it might move so much. If you rotate it twice, it will move twice as much. If you rotate it half, it will move half as much, yes, as before. So proportional to how much you rotate, okay, the spindle's movement is directly dependent on its rotation. How much ever you rotate, this moves proportional to that. Now, what happens is that, understand guys, this main scale, this one remember is the main scale and this one over here is remember the circular scale. Now, usually the meter scale has a least count of one millimeter. 
Usually your normal scale has a least count of one millimeter. What if I want to divide that one millimeter into further smaller parts so that I can improve the accuracy of the device? Again, I'll repeat. So think about it. I have a normal meter scale. This is just like your normal meter scale. Just think about it. This is just like your normal meter scale having a least count of let's say one millimeter. I want to further divide it into many parts so that the accuracy improves, the error will minimize. How do I do that? Well, I'm not going to draw more markings. Instead, I'm going to have this circular scale. Look at that, the circular scale. The circular scale has some divisions. Now just imagine, this is your main scale. Imagine, this is your main scale, okay? And this is, let's say for example, just for example, this is, let's say one millimeter. Just example, this is one millimeter from one division to the next division, one division to the next division. That's one millimeter, okay? Now, if I tell you that circular scale, okay, this circular scale, let's say it has 100 divisions. Let's say it has some 100 divisions. And when you rotate it once, when you rotate it once, it moves by one millimeter. When you rotate it once, it moves by one millimeter. Just think about it. So every marking on it, there are 100 markings on it. There are 100 markings on it. So for every marking, how much do you think the circular scale will move? So for every marking, think about it. How much will the circular scale move? I'll just repeat. The circular scale moves by one millimeter for one complete rotation. All right, and the circular scale has how many divisions? 100 divisions. So for one click, for one moment of that circular scale, how much will it move? One millimeter divided by 100, not one millimeter, think. One millimeter will be divided by 100. So there will be 100 parts of it, 100 parts. For each part, it's one click, it's one click of the circular scale. It's 100 parts. So guys, each part, how much will each part be? Think about it. So each part, each part, how much will each part be? It will be one millimeter divided by 100, which is nothing but 0 0.01 millimeter. 0 0.01 millimeter. Is that understood? Is that understood? See what has happened. Haven't I somehow improved increase the accuracy of the device because for each click it moves by 0 0.01 millimeter which is very very accurate much more accurate than the meter scale think about it think about it so all i have done is use the normal meter scale which is over here okay think of it that way there is a circular scale you divide some markings on it you divided the circular scale into few you know uh, divisions and you see how much does one division of circular scale how much does one click on that circular scale correspond to so we know that you know in this case there were 100 parts so when you rotate it once it moved by one millimeter so when you rotate this once it moved by one millimeter so when you rotate it by only one click which is one hundredth of it it will move by one hundredth of a millimeter which is 0 0.01 millimeter. I hope this is clear. I hope, no, one click does not mean one rotation. One click is one division. One click is one division of the circular scale. One division of the circular scale, one click. So when you use the instrument, you will realize that when you rotate it, it clicks. It gives you that tick sound. When you rotate that circular scale, tick, 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 it will rotate. So when you rotate it once, there will be 100 clicks, that 100 tick sounds will come when you rotate that thimble in, uh, you know, one uh, for one rotation. I hope that is clear. Okay, great, great. Now, there is something called as the pitch, the pitch of the instrument. The pitch means how much distance does that circular scale move for one rotation? That will be always given to you or it will be understood from the, uh, the given information. So pitch is nothing but how much does the circular scale move for one rotation. 
If I tell you the pitch is 2 millimeters, what does it mean? When you rotate it once, for one rotation, how much does this advance by? It advances by 2 millimeters. That's the meaning of the pitch. If I say the pitch is 5 millimeters, that means when you rotate it once, all right, one complete rotation, it will move by 5 millimeters. Just like the pitch of a screw or something like that. Is everybody clear till this point? Everybody clear till this point? Yes. So do you have any formula for a pitch? It will be directly given Sri Ram Reddy. It would be given. Oh, imagine if it is given to you. For, oops, let me go behind. Let me just go behind. Okay, just one second guys. Uh, okay, where did it go? Okay, yes. So just imagine if it was given, if it was given to you for two rotations, all right, the circular scale advances, advances by six millimeters. Then what is the pitch? Come on, all my warriors, think about it. If for two rotations, the circular scale advances by six millimeters. Yes, Sharvin, we are going to come to numericals. First, let me tell you how to use this. What do you think is the pitch of this instrument? Come on, this is also a numerical. Yes, it is. 3 millimeters, beautiful. Glad, eh, sir, you uh, are learning today. Hello, welcome, Clay Tsunami. Yes, it is 3 millimeters. For two rotations, it is moving by 6 millimeters. So, for one rotation, so for one complete revolution, how much does it move? It moves by 3 millimeters. So, that's the pitch. Yep, that's how it works. Beautiful. Okay, so now let's see whether you can solve this. A simple way to solve the problem, let's say, there are, let's say there are 100 divisions, 100 divisions on a circular scale, which is a circular scale. This is the circular scale. Okay. And on a complete rotation, okay, on one complete rotation of the screw, it shifts by one sleeve or one main scale unit. This is a main scale. Okay. This pitch scale is nothing but the main scale unit. It moves by one main scale unit. And it is given to you that one main scale, I hope you can see the divisions over here. One main scale is one millimeter. So guys, what is the pitch? Come on, think about it. Come on, think about it. What's the pitch? Come on, answer the question quickly. Let's see whether you can answer it. What is the pitch of this? Beautiful. Already Anurag has answered it. Sunil Patel, Mohammed. Yes, correct. So it will be also one millimeter. Beautiful. And what do you think is the least count of the device? What do you think is the least count of the device? Think about it. The uh, re marking on the main scale is one millimeter. Each millimeter, this is nothing but one millimeter. And there are how many divisions on the circular scale? 100 divisions. So guys, think about it. Each click is how much? It is one divided by 100, which is nothing but 0 0.01 millimeter. Yes. So each millimeter, the pitch, so for one rotation, you move by one millimeter. So 100 divisions are there. So each division will correspond to 0 0.01 millimeter. Correct. -o. Let's see whether you can do this again. Come on, let's see. Let's say there are 50 divisions on the circular scale. Let's say there are 50 divisions on the circular scale. And one main scale unit is one millimeter. So come on guys, what is the pitch? First answer this. Come on, come on, come on. What is the pitch? So for one complete rotation, the sleeve shifts by one main scale unit. So what is the pitch? Come on. Yes, it's again one millimeter. Beautiful. And the least count is, come on, the pitch is not two millimeters. Be careful, clay tsunami. It is still one millimeters because it moves by one main scale unit for one rotation. So for one rotation, one main scale unit, which is one millimeter. So pitch is still one millimeter. And least count is one divided by 50, which is, yep. 1 divided by 50, which is 0 0.02 millimeter. Got it. Isn't it simple? Understood? -o? Clear? -o? How to solve the problems? Clear? -o? Yes. Glad, eh, sir. Glad you understood. Yes. It's not 5 millimeter. Be careful. Yes, it is 0 0.02 millimeters. Beautiful. Beautiful. And if you guys are understanding, do not forget to hit the like button out there. Now, what is the final reading? How do you take the final reading? So you might see some numbers. These kind of questions come. They'll give you a diagram or they will write it in the text. 
in the question and they'll ask you what is the reading shown by the micrometer screw gauge now remember this simple formula remember this simple formula the simple formula is the reading of a screw gauge is whatever main scale reading you see over here this one this number plus think about it if there are some number there is some numbers shown on the circular scale let's say it is 22 or 23 that means you have advanced by 23 clicks how much have you advanced by some 22 or 23 clicks you have advanced by each click is one least count so the reading shown on the circular scale tells me how many least counts have you advanced how many least counts have you advanced so least count into the reading shown on the circular scale should be added to the main scale reading yes that's how it is that's how it is yep so a hey, sir please don't spam a hey, sir please don't spam or else you might get timed out by our admin okay so let's see how to solve this problem first look at the main scale reading what is the main scale reading is it one two or three it is two okay next what is the circular scale reading it is 20 second mark so using this formula using this formula what will you get it is two millimeters so anyways is over plus plus 22 marks are gone each mark is 0 0.01 millimeter so hence least count was 0 0.01 millimeter so 22 times 0 0.01 and hence the correct answer will be 2.22 millimeters 2.22 millimeters i hope this is clear is that understood no problem tarun welcome join about yes aryan anyways the classes are more than one hour so it's perfect don't worry anything more than that all right it's not suitable and we are keeping the class timings perfect to that topic don't worry about it yes should you remember this formula yes you should remember this formula although it is very logical i mean come on right whatever numbers you have advanced that reading that is a main scale reading plus the extra reading that you will get over here that extra part will be how much least count multiplied by circular scale obviously obviously because when you complete one circular scale you will shift to the next main scale reading when you complete one more circular scale you will shift to next main scale reading so proportionately it is basically least count into circular scale reading yep let's get going okay yep it's not just important in practicals by the way it is also important in j now please remember final answer should be written down like this this is very important it is 2.22 millimeters do not forget this number this is the uncertainty in the measurement do not forget this number plus minus 0 0.01 millimeter remember this was the least count so do not forget to add this yes this is very important okay let's see whether you can solve this question come on come on this is your question coming up on your screen <coughs> okay Niha, i hope you can just lower the resolution just refresh it check your internet connection once more refresh reboot ask others to not use your internet okay calculate the least count of a screw gauge if the number of divisions on the main scale are 10 divisions are there on a main scale for one centimeter and the number of circular scale divisions are 100 come on let's see how many of you can do that if a different error is given clay tsunami then you will put that other plus minus whatever millimeters or centimeters okay come on come on come on think about it option c sham pc says a tarun focus on the session not on who is from where okay anything awesome says c okay come on come on my warriors think satvika says c mohammed says d Harsh harish says b Vamuluri says A. Okay, 10 raised to minus 3 says Sri Ram. Okay, well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Kusuma says C, Chinmay says C. Okay, now I'll tell you what you can do. Calculate the least count of the screw gauge if the number of divisions on the main scale are 10 in a centimeter. So in one centimeter, there are 10 divisions of main scale. 10 divisions of main scale so how much is one division of the main scale think about it if one centimeter has 10 divisions of main scale so each division of main scale is nothing but 0.1 centimeter which is obviously one millimeter that's obvious 
that's obvious correct now this one division of main scale think about it this one division of main scale this much is also nothing but the pitch of that device so when you rotate that circular scale it moves from one division to the next next division and then next so that's also the pitch of the device correct that's also the pitch of the device okay so now what you need to do for the least count think about it the least count will be each division how much is it one millimeter but divide it further into 100 parts which is 0 0.01 millimeter which is 10 to the power or 0 0.001 centimeter which is 10 to the power minus 3 centimeters yes that's how it is no problem Sriram no problem you can watch the replay later on okay so that's how it is I hope everybody is clear about this that's the answer 10 to the power minus 3 centimeters let's see whether you can solve this one okay I hope that fear of solving this question has gone and when you solve more questions I'm pretty sure you'll get more grip on the topic there is a screw gauge which gives the following reading when used to measure the diameter of wire main scale reading zero main scale reading is zero okay that means it is somewhere between zero and one okay circular scale reading 52 divisions on the circular scale it's also given one millimeter on main scale is 100 divisions of the circular scale and the diameter of the wire from the above data is come on even this option is C okay saying anything eh, anything awesome Chinmay also saying C Anurag Singh also saying C well 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 I don't know maybe may not be let's figure this out so one millimeter on main scale corresponds to 100 divisions this line tells me this line tells me the least count of the device is one millimeter has to be divided by 100 divisions which is 0 0.01 millimeter great my reading if you recollect the reading is main scale reading plus the least count multiplied by circular scale reading what is the main scale reading it's zero millimeter what's the least count it is 0 0.01 What's the circular scale reading? Well, that's 52. So 0 plus anything is anything. So this is going to be how much? Point, point 0.52 millimeters. And 0 0.52 millimeters, where is it? It's here. Yes. That's the answer. Option C. Beautiful. 0 0.052 centimeters. Excellent. Excellent. I hope this is clear. Very good, Shama PC. Very good, Samuel John. Very good, Sonali Dei. Very good, Harish. Very good. Bellamuri, Ojiswi, anything else. Excellent. Great. Now the next question is trickier. It's not so simple. Okay. This is very tricky. Glad everybody has understood this. Pooja Bacha, which part you did not understand, let me know. And if you still did not understand, you can always replay even a live session. And don't worry, concentrate on the next problem. Most likely you will get it. Look at this question. Come on. Yes, Clay Tsunami, I'll be doing that. Okay, the circular division shown in the screw gauge are 50. There are 50 divisions in the circular scale. And it moves by 0.5 millimeters on the main scale for one rotation. What is the diameter of the ball? Now be careful. When the clamp is completely closed, that is nothing is there, it already shows 5. It already shows 5. But when you place this ball, you can see one division on the main scale and this is 25th division on the circular scale. So be careful about it. Let's see how do we solve this. First, things first. What do you think is the pitch? Guys, come on. What do you think is the pitch of this device? <clears throat> come on. Harish, if you have doubts, post it in the comments after the video ends or send it to me on stress underscore Vedanto or you can also uh, uh, use the Vedantu doubt app and ask doubts to our doubt experts. I'll be telling you more about it in a bit. So it moves 0.5 millimeters on the main scale for one rotation. So guys, it is 0.5 millimeters. Look at that. It is 0.5 millimeters. How much does it move per rotation? So in one rotation, it has moved by 0.5 millimeters. Remember, every micrometer screw gauge need not be the same. It could be different. In this case, the pitch is 0.5 millimeters. Okay. Now, 
what is the least count of that device if it moves 0.5 millimeters in one rotation and one rotation has 50 divisions so think about it the least count will be 0.5 millimeters divided by 50 guys so how much will be the least count how much will be the least count is it 0 0.02 think about it be careful yes some of you got it correct how many millimeters will the least count be come on my warriors answer it looking at the chat box now come on very good Kirti Haran very good Sri Ram Reddy yes Chinmay Pense it will be 0 0.01 I hope you know the divisions properly 0 0.01 millimeter beautiful now think this way think this way when you place this object over here what is the reading so with that object with that object what is the reading what is the main scale reading because there are two terms remember main scale reading plus least count multiplied by circular scale so there are two terms what do you think is the main scale reading out here what is the main scale reading come on my warriors think about it when when this object is placed what do you think is the main scale reading isn't it one yes isn't it one yes swastika you can definitely watch it kusuma 25 is the circular scale reading that's the circular scale not the main scale main scale is the horizontal one this one is the circular scale yes the main scale reading is one millimeter correct you can see one marking over here this is one millimeter yep that's one millimeter correct now plus least count what is the least count 0 0.01 multiplied by was the reading on the circular scale can you see that number i hope you can see that number that's 25 so guys what do you think the answer over here will be what is the answer hold on hold on sunil patil that's not the correct answer you have given a wrong answer hold on yes what's the correct answer over here come on yes it will be 1.25 millimeters okay but that's not the final answer the problem is the problem is there is some zero error over here what is the meaning of zero error when there is no object in between then this should show zero this should ideally show zero but it is showing something it's showing five and main scale reading that's zero i mean there is no marking shown over here that means the main scale reading is zero that means there is some zero error so think what is the zero error which is introduced well there is nothing over here no main scale reading so zero plus which is the circular scale division fifth division is shown so 0 0.01 multiplied by 5 so it will be 0 0.05 millimeters so it already shows 0 0.05 millimeters it already shows 0 0.05 millimeters when there is nothing placed and when something is placed it shows 1.25 millimeters so guys can you now tell me can you now tell me what do you think is the diameter is it 1.25 plus 0 0.05 or 1.25 minus 0 0.05 is it 1.25 plus or minus think about it already some reading is shown remember last lecture also i did similar thing a pandu is standing on a weighing machine already the weighing machine showed some reading so what will be the actual weight of pandu there was a zero error correct oh many of my warriors have got it it will be minus so it is 1.25 minus that so it is 1.2 millimeters now many of you will make a mistake after this now correct this is the answer but this is not the final answer reason you have not written it down properly yes this is not the final answer guess what the final answer is it is 1.20 why that 20 because this is the accuracy required this is the decimal till which i am sure about yes you need to put appropriate number of decimals and do not forget plus or minus 0 0.01 this is the final answer yes this is the final answer 1.20 plus or minus 0 0.01 if there is an option which says 1.2 plus or minus 0 0.01 millimeter do not mark this this is wrong this is wrong because that second decimal is not mentioned why is that second decimal mentioned because i'm sure till 0 0.01 millimeter so that's the accuracy limit 
So that's why you should put that zero because that is a significant zero. Understand that. Understood this guys? Hi Deepika Bhatti, welcome aboard. I hope you loved this question. Did you enjoy this question? Did you learn a lot from this question? I hope you understood how zero error has to be taken into account. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Harish, I have explained the principle of homogeneity in the previous session. Go watch the replay from the previous session. Okay. I've done this. Yes. 1.20 plus or minus 0 0.01 millimeters. Guys, if you have doubts, you can definitely send it across for free. As many doubts as you want. Send a screenshot or send a solution and ask whether it is correct or wrong to all our doubt experts right from morning till night. As many doubts from whichever book you have. If you are under the pro subscription then or a crash course then you can send as many doubts as you want. It's there within the app. So when you have the Vedantu app just open the Vedantu app, ask a doubt, take a picture, send your doubt and get it solved. You can also chat with our doubt experts. That's how it looks like. Okay. Now let's go to the next device and that's one year caliper. Okay, so yep, yep. So Murgesh, if it's already uh, there, then it is positive error. If you have to subtract it, obviously, then it is negative error. Okay, cool. Kusuma, don't worry, you're going to get a lot of questions in the pro subscription. You're going to get Tatva module, which has a lot of questions. Number two, you're also going to get assignments after every chapter. Number three, on YouTube over here, you will get homework questions as well. So guys, that's why I keep telling you, please join the pro subscription for more. There are hundreds of questions on this chapter. Just imagine from easy to hard, as many questions as you want. Previous year questions also in Tatva module. Yes, along with solutions. Yep. Now let's talk about vernier caliper. Let's talk about vernier caliper. Now, this is the second device. It's also more accurate but not as accurate as micrometer. Okay, but it has got decent accuracy, much better than your meter scale. You will see some claws or clamps over here. You will see a scale which can move and you can see a meter scale like thing before it. Can you see that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? That's like your normal scale and there is a sliding scale which can move and looking at these numbers, you can measure what's the reading. Okay, let's see how to do that. Chinmay, I have already posted all the answers in the Telegram group. Uh, the fourth question in uh, last time uh, had a wrong option or a wrong answer. I have also corrected it in the PDF. So please check out that PDF in the Telegram group. You will definitely get the correct answer. Yes, I have posted all the answers out there. Okay. Now what is Tatwa? Tatwa is a module which is given by Vedantu, which is like a hard copy of all the problems and uh, important uh, definitions, formulas, etc. So it's the module which Vidantu gives you for practice. Now, what are the main parts of it? You will get Sarthak, you will get it in PDF as well as hard copy. It will be mailed across to you in pro subscription. Now a vernier caliper will consist of two main parts. Look at this, the one which is here, that is called as the main scale. The one which slides, it is called, the one which slides left and right, that is called as the vernier scale. So main scale, vernier scale. Main scale is this part, vernier scale is the part which slides. These are the jaws or the clamps of a vernier caliper. So whatever object you want to measure, you place it between the clamps of that vernier caliper. I hope this is clear. In case you forgot how it moves, just see this over here. See, this is the vernier scale drag me horizontally this one is the vernier scale this is the main scale this is the jaws and in between that you place your object out here now let's do this exercise there is a very simple formula there is a very simple formula for finding the reading let's do this okay now just count this look at this the black one is the main scale the yellow one is the vernier scale there are few steps you need to follow if you follow these steps if you follow these steps, you will get the correct answer. You will get the least count, you will get the reading. Just follow these steps. Again, Sri Ram Reddy, it is used to measure thickness, diameter, length of a small object. Okay, not for big objects, for small, small objects only. For big objects, you already have a scale or a tape. This is only for small objects. Okay, now tell me, looking at the diagram from the vernier scale, how many divisions of vernier scale is equal to how many divisions of the main scale? Just look at that. 
how many divisions of the vernier scale equals to how many divisions of the main scale come on think about it come on think think obviously samir obviously okay come on think what should i fix, put up in the blanks out here come on my warriors think how many divisions of the vernier scale is equal to how many divisions of the main scale come on my warriors think about it just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are 10 divisions i hope you can see that yes there are 10 divisions of the vernier scale this is the vernier scale and this is your main scale so is equal to how many divisions of the main scale come on guys come on think about it how many divisions of the main scale how many divisions can you count come on quickly answer the question in the chat box how many divisions no it is not one count it one two three four five six seven eight nine it's nine divisions i hope you can see that this is the ninth division of the main scale yes so 10 divisions of the vernier is nine divisions of the main scale do you see the width of each division is not the same in vernier and main scale do you see that this is different than this division that's the whole principle of a vernier caliper it makes use of this difference to actually measure it it makes use of this difference to actually measure the particular object so both the divisions are not the same so now think one division of vernier scale is equal to how many mil millimeters so each division is how many millimeters oh come on this total length was nine millimeters i hope you can see that this total length was nine millimeters and this nine millimeters is divided into how many parts 10 parts so this will be nine by 10 which is nothing but 0.9 millimeters this is the first thing you should be able to do without this you cannot proceed every time you see a vernier caliper you should be able to judge by the diagram or it will be given to you these many divisions coincide with these many divisions the first thing you should be able to calculate is how much is one division of the vernier scale each division of the vernier scale is how much in length okay once you have done that there is a simple formula for the least count and what is the formula the modulus the absolute value of the difference of the main scale division and vernier scale division so where is the main scale one main scale division is this one this is one main scale division and this one out here this is this this one over here is one vernier scale division so the difference in the lens is the least count of the vernier caliper as simple as that so guys what do you think is the answer over here so one main scale division come on think about it yes this is for j advanced as well obviously yes so the least count will be modulus of one millimeter because remember this is one millimeter minus how much is this much we just calculated it to be 0.9 millimeters so that's why the least count will be 0.1 millimeters that's it yep is it always necessary the vernier caliper is bigger no it could be smaller also that's why i have put the modulus if vernier scale division is more then obviously it will be bigger minus smaller that's why i have put the modulus symbol absolute value bigger minus smaller great i hope this is clear good you guys are asking good questions so 0.1 millimeter that's the answer i don't think it's as accurate as the micrometer but it is not as bad as the meter scale so it's more accurate than the meter scale but not so accurate as the micrometer screw gauge. so somewhere in between beautiful stairs capri says clear oh now what is the reading shown by it let's see how do you see the reading shown by it oops let's go ahead okay now the reading shown by a vernier caliper is to be measured like this check where your zero is see before proceeding ahead okay initially the zero will coincide with zero so when you open up this jaw when you open up this clamp this zero is going to move ahead this zero is going to move ahead okay somewhere so check where that zero is so that will become your main scale reading what will that become that will become your main scale reading 
okay and second thing you will get just like you had circular scale reading in micrometer screw gauge here you will get my uh, you will get vernier scale reading now this is the tricky part hello asha saraswat welcome aboard now aryan hold on mere bachche unless and until you understand theory you cannot do questions if you have been just doing questions without understanding theory then gone you are doing it the wrong way so pay attention only then you will be able to solve the questions yep now the thing is in the vernier scale check which division coincides with any of the divisions on the main scale what you should do on the vernier scale check which division coincides with any of the divisions on the main scale that's what you should do i hope you can see the marked one is exactly coinciding with some division on the main scale that's what you need to do so the vernier caliper reading is given by exactly like before main scale reading main scale reading as simple as that plus the least count multiplied by the vernier scale reading least count multiplied by the vernier scale reading so what is the vernier scale reading which division of vernier scale coincides with it okay now the thing is aryan if your understanding is very boring you are free to leave this channel please go ahead okay but we are going to go from the basics now in this diagram in this diagram let's check out what the reading is first of all quickly tell me what is the main scale reading 0 1 2 3 come on my warriors think about it pushpanjali already has told something think about it carefully what is the main scale reading 0 1 2 3 4 come on guys think about it is it 1 2 3 come on count it 1 2 3 i think yes 3 yes 3 mm correcto now check which division on this vernier scale coincides 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the sixth division this is the sixth division oops so guys what you're going to do is you're going to write this as this one is the third division this one is the sixth division so it will be 3 mm that's the main scale reading plus least count is 0.1 multiplied by multiplied by 6 so that will be 3 mm plus 0.6 mm which is 3.6 mm yes that's the answer 3.6 mm that's the answer everybody understood this no somebody said abhinav and uh, chinmay said 0.3 that is wrong no it's not 0.3 you have to check which division on the vernier scale coincides with any division on the main scale the sixth division you can count it 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 the sixth division of the vernier scale coincides with some division of the main scale that's how this works i hope this is clear i hope this is clear yep aryan i'm blocking you thank you for honoring me with all the things that you do guys thank you okay great chalo i hope this is clear shall we go ahead now yep let's do a question let's do a question oops let's do a question <clears throat> okay let's do this okay now let's see whether you can solve this question a vernier caliper has 1 mm mark on the main scale a vernier caliper has 1 mm mark on the main scale and it has 20 equal divisions on the vernier scale which match with 16 main scale divisions for this caliper the least count is come on think about it think about it <clears throat> a vernier caliper has 1 mm mark on the main scale every mark on the main scale is 1 mm okay now think there are 20 divisions on the vernier caliper vernier scale and 16 oh, sorry, and it coincides with the 16 main scale divisions visualize it you will get the answer come on think carefully think carefully come on come on come on come on my warriors think carefully <clears throat> think carefully you will not get confused if you go by the logic that i have taught you come on come on come on 
Yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Very simple. It's not that difficult. I'll tell you what you should do. There are 16 main scale divisions. And that is divided into that is divided into 20 parts of vernier scale 16 main scale divisions so guys one division of vernier scale is equal to how much think about it 16 main scale is divided into 20 parts so each part is how much 16 millimeters remember this is 16 millimeters in length divided by 20 which is nothing but 4 by 5 millimeters I suppose 4 by 5 millimeters beautiful now what you should do now what you should do question is find the least count what is the least count I just gave you a formula for least count it is the modulus of the difference of one division of main scale one division of main scale is how much one millimeter so one millimeter minus four by five of a millimeter so how much will it be one fifth of a millimeter which is how much it is nothing but 0.2 millimeters that's the answer you follow these steps you will never get confused just follow these steps nothing else nothing else just think about it there are 16 main scale division 16 main scale division is nothing but 16 millimeters because each main scale is one millimeter so you divide it into 20 parts so how much is each part 16 divided by 20 now the least count formula is main scale minus vernier scale one millimeter minus four by five which is one by five which is 0.2 millimeters that's the answer okay i hope this is clear let's get going to another question so that i want you to really understand this topic i really want you to understand this topic okay uh I think Neha by mistake has got blocked. Don't worry, Neha. Uh, I will make sure that you get unblocked after the session. Don't worry about it. Okay. So just attend the session. Uh, don't worry. You will get unblocked, unblocked very soon. Okay. Uh, I think while unblocking Aryan, probably you got accidentally blocked, I guess. Okay. So Shreyas, you can, can you do one thing, Beta? Can you just replay the session a little bit? And if you still have doubt, please send me your query on Shreyas underscore Vedantu. I will solve it. Okay. Just put it on Shreyas underscore Vedantu Instagram. I'll definitely handle it. Okay. Now find the reading of the vernier caliper referring to this figure. Observe this diagram carefully. Thank you, Muhammad. How can we find the pitch? Sai Ruthwick for vernier caliper, you do not have you do not have pitch it's only for vernier caliper uh, sorry it's only for micrometer screw gauge understand so pitch is only for rotating objects not for this one okay let's see come on come on come on come on come on quickly think what should be the reading shown over here okay now this four is not four millimeters this is four centimeters or it is 40 millimeters think about it this is 40 millimeters this is 41 this is 42 this is 43 so check this out where is the zero this is the zero of the vernier caliper this is 40 41 42 43 so guys think about the reading the reading is always main scale plus least count multiplied by vernier scale reading main scale reading is 43 i believe is that clear i hope this is clear everybody Yes, 43. Check this out. 1, 2, 3. It's somewhere between 43 and 44. Somewhere between that. It has crossed 43. So that's why 43. Plus, what's the least count of vernier caliper? What's the least count of vernier caliper? It's 0.1 millimeter. We just figured it out. And if you still do not agree with it, you can find the number of divisions and find the least count. You will still get it as 0.1 millimeters. Into which division of the vernier caliper coincides with any of these lines on the top on the main scale check which division observe closely use a magnifying glass wear your specs which division coincides perfectly with any of these lines on the top check it out one two three four five six i think seventh one yes the seventh division coincides perfectly 
समवेयर ओवर हियर नन ऑफ द अदर्स आर को इन साइडिंग देर इज सम मिस मैच सो हेंस दिस विल बी इन टू सेवन एंड हेंस द फाइनल आंसर विल बी फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट सेवन मिलीमीटर्स दैट्स द आंसर और यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इट एज फोर पॉइंट थ्री सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स फोर पॉइंट थ्री सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स येस दैट्स द आंसर सो हाउ टू फाइंड लीज काउंट आई जस्ट शो इट टू यू अगेन इवन फॉर दिस ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर now if you want to find the least count this is what you are going to do guys how many divisions are there 7 8 9 10 so there are 10 divisions 10 divisions of vernier scale which is equal to 9 mm on the main scale so 10 divisions is 9 mm correct so think about it one division of vernier scale is how much it is 0.9 mm i hope this is clear 10 divisions is 9 mm one division will be 0.9 mm so what is the least count formula it is main scale division minus vernier scale division what is the main scale length it is 1 mm 1 mm minus 0.9 mm so what are you going to get 1 minus 0.9 0.1 mm that's exactly what i have used over here least count it's exactly what i have used is that understood so definition of least count samir please watch the replay i have explained it at the start that's the smallest number which can be counted using an instrument is the smallest division okay that's the uh, limit to the accuracy you cannot be more accurate than the least count of any device great this is how you need to do it so these kind of questions do come in the examination even in mains and even in advanced Now I have given two questions for homework. This is your first homework question. Answer will be provided to you in our Telegram group. So join it in case you haven't. This is the second homework question. Solve it today, and I'll be seeing all the homework answers just like you guys do it every time. So all you need to do it is post it in the comment section below. So last time also I had given you certain questions. like in significant errors and many of you oh my god crunchy munchy oh crazy i am feeling hungry now lot of you have answered very good shabana harshil hanswaj very good very good very good all the people out here uh, look at that beautifully they have ans uh, answered the homework question some of you have you know even asked some doubts and i have answered to their doubts as well in the uh, comment section so after the video ends you can post all your homework answers out here and if you have something to ask you can definitely ask me out here and remember below in the description box you will also see the link to join the vedantu pro subscription as well as our crash courses and when you use the coupon code sshpro you get 10% off straight away flat um, you know on the pro subscription yeah, all right so all of us are actually teaching in the pro subscription including me i am teaching in the pro subscription lot of micro courses i am taking up so you will get your grade 11th all right the entire long term batch along with short term courses other courses revision courses and that is for 2 years not just 1 year you will get it for 2 years that's the best part for 2 years the price is 53999 that's ridiculously cheap So there are three versions in this light, classic, and plus. In light, you get your classes, recordings, PDFs, tests, test analysis, assignments, notes, tattoo material, hard copy, soft copy. But for doubts, you need to go with the classic version. Okay, so that's what you get in the doubts. Uh, sorry, in the classic version, you get the doubts. And if you get the plus, and that's when you get your. personal mentor if you want a personal tutor personal mentor that's what you get you can see all the detailed syllabus uh, the teachers our uh, you know uh, time table the schedules which are available every detail has been mentioned very clearly so you can go ahead check it out and yes feel free to ask me anything about the pro subscription okay thank you guys very much Uh, so sai rutik when you go to the pro subscription page you can even select one month or 12 months both one month is also available even uh, two years also is available yes thank you tarun glad you guys made it uh, so shreyas uh, paliwal i'm not sure which uh, year you are preparing for but for 2023 
for two years this is the rank booster series only you can boost your rank only if you attend your regular classes out here glad thank you Jaydeep thank you Ojasvi you understood everything thank you so much glad Satvika uh, thank you Navami thank you everyone uh, Binav uh, yes Tarun you too say, stay safe oh for 2021 a zero to hero series is a rank booster series okay okay yes so uh, yes uh, today wish uh, these days yes vishnu the one year calipers do come with digital readings that's crazy but you know in j you are not going to get a digital one year caliper you are going to get this mechanical one okay so prepare well for the menti quiz which is going to happen in the couple of days so keep uh, yourself uh, yes updated hit the bell icon do not forget to hit the bell icon and the like button out there so that you do not miss any of our classes and hit the subscribe button yes darshan i have taken your name too bye bye take care bacha okay so poli pali uh, venkata the prices have been mentioned here you can check it out for one month it is this much for 12 months and two years it's all there just click the link of pro subscription good night take care jay bye bye A pathfinder series jay tomorrow yep uh, Tarun, you can just rewind the session. Just after I end the session, rewind it. You can get it. Plus, it's there in the description box. The PDF link, etc. Everything is there. Good night, Sai Take Bye bye. Take care. Yes, Sir Rashmi Prasti. Take care, Vacha. And uh, stay safe, guys. Bye bye. Good night, Samuel John. Good night. Good night. Take care, guys. Asala Vista. This was Shreyas here, your master teacher.